Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be part two, it's technically part one of the Digital iVotion Denture series. In this video, we're gonna talk about a copy denture that is a straightforward copy of an existing denture, no integral relining, no adjustment of the teeth, straightforward copy. If you are enjoying the channel so far, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and get updated on all future videos. In the link of this video, you can also find a description to my Patreon channel if you want to support the channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So welcome back to the video. This is our denture that we want to copy today. And as you can see, there's no integral relining. All we want to do is copy the base and copy the teeth. So in the order form, we're going to select one tooth. We're going to go on full denture and we're going to select the one-to-one -one process, click OK, and we're going to apply it to the entire arch. We're going to select the shade and we are going to save the entire project. As you can see, we don't have an antagonist. All we have is a denture. So I created a special disk and you can download it for free on my Patreon page. After we imported all the scans, we're going to go into expert mode and we are going to correct the antagonist manually. I'm going to position it directly under the upper arch so all the points perfectly aligned, but there's no right or wrong here. Then back into the wizard mode and to the model analysis. Here we first established the occlusal plane by clicking on three points. And after we're done with this, we're gonna go to the molar position. And we're gonna click on the two molar positions, the last two points. And then by clicking next, we're gonna go to the first premolar position, click next, and then the incisor point or to establish the midline. So once this is all done, we can click next and we can select a library from the menu. I usually pick the first one, the blue line. And then we also need to import our pre-up scan. And that is just the regular denture I'm importing. Again, click OK. Once this is imported, we can go ahead. In the first video, I showed you how to cut the denture from the occlusal. I found a better way. I'm cutting it from the integral surface. Cut really close to the outer border and go all the way around. Don't overlap anything. Just go around until the points meet. Invert the selection and delete it. Now you have a clean cut, no artifacts you need to clean up. All you have to do is invert the triangle orientation. You have a clean mold where you can design it on. Click OK, and all you have to do is go to the next step, which is the chain mode. And in the chain mode, all you have to do is align the T's as perfectly. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but so they are aligning with the existing denture T's. Once you're done, click Next, and you don't have to position the pre-up. Now, if you see anything overlapping, I would clean this up with a smoothing tool to have no artifacts later on and they're separating the denture. In the adapt to pre-up scan, click exclude selected parts and from the menu, select mark by click. Now all you have to do is click on the teeth that you want to exclude from the selection. So I'm clicking on each tooth and then I'm gonna double check if everything is perfect. And all I need to do is I'm going to invert the marking. Now I click Adapt Teeth and it will perfectly morph to the pre-up. Now I'm positioning my mold to the orientation and when I mark the outlining, I'm going really close to the outer border. I'm not going into the crest like I showed you in the first video. That's a better method here. Then the ginger was created. With the connectors, you have to avoid that there are no overlapping into the occlusal. Remember, you don't, you don't have an antagonist. So now you can go ahead and morph the gingival perfectly. So what I do, I'm gonna look at my existing denture and see 
how it looks. I want to have little indentations between the trees. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the shift key down and slowly morph in between the teeth so I'm creating kind of a root shape. And that looks pretty nice and you don't even have to put much effort in there. With the smoothing tool, I'm now smoothing out the root. That's completely up to you. You don't have to do this. If you like this detailed design, you can obviously leave it like this. The next step is I'm going to double check if my pre-up looks like the roots in the design. And now I can separate the teeth. All I click is next and it separates the teeth. So now you created a perfect copy with the denture base and the teeth, which you can separately mill either in pink or in the tooth shade that the dentist is prescribing. It's a really easy method to make a copy denture in ExoCAD, and it's actually not that difficult if you get used to the workflow. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get updated on all future videos. If you want to support this channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my Patreon page. Until then, Stay tuned.